I finally made it, y'all. Hey, what's going on? Man, the wind is something fierce down here. Uh, squall lines fixing to move through us. Uh, so we might have some more problems. Uh, can't help the weather. Uh, all right, let me start by calling people out who has chatted in here so far. Brokeback Bob says, I'm all alone in here. Uh, welcome in. Melissa says, no, you ain't. I'm here. Uncle Lulu, good morning. Rustic Outdoors, good morning. Uh, do, do, do. Oh, man, y'all been talking back and forth to each other. He's probably been in my, hey, I don't know. Oh, what? I've been mine and what? I think it's done the hell out of me. What? What in the world are y'all talking about? Okay, let's roll this bean footage. Wow. Well, good morning, Dave Bosworth. Welcome in. And Steve Mosley, welcome in, man. Yeah, I agree. It's coffee time. Just Jeff, good morning. Welcome back in. I think uh, I think this is the third or fourth time you've been in here. Welcome in, Wolf's Den. Good morning. Skip Jackson is in the house. Good morning, Skip Jackson. Three nights. Man, that's the man right there. Three nights. Oh, Don. I certainly hope you're doing well, Wolfie. My coffee got cold. Ah! We'll warm it up, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm sorry, Uncle Lou. Get Mindy to warm it up for you, okay? Oh. <laughs> Oh man. Oh, look man, I just got out of the shower not what thirty minutes ago. Uh I'm just I just let my hair dry on its own. All right, Melissa, I will, I will, I will. Okay. Okay. Welcome in, everybody. Uh, let's see. Live chat. Scroll down. Paste it in the box. Boom. All right. I love how they put that thing down in the chat box. Give myself a thumbs up. All right. And there it is. You should come up with it. Ah! <laughs> Welcome in, Skywalker. Ah, bro. Okay. He's there. So curly when it's wet. <clears throat> Good morning, Rustic Outdoors. Good morning, everybody. Got your coffee? Yeah, buddy. Got my coffee. Got a big old cup. Yeah, I just got a shower not too long ago myself. Got a therapy at 7 o'clock this morning. Wow. 7 o'clock. Of course, yep. y'all are behind us. Uh, yeah. Or, yeah, okay. Old Gabe's three hours behind us. Uh, let me turn the chat on here in the, on the big screen. Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, getting my email and putting it over here. Let me check my email. Oh, okay. Buck William sent me some stuff. Two of them. Thank you. All right. Let's get down to business. Hell the business. All right now. 
I'm going to use water this time. It's not that expensive, Rusty. Guy. You don't live here in our town, do you? <laughs> or, or the mood juice off. The mood juice off. Good morning, off. Brandon. Welcome in. Roostick. Where did you get that name from? Lou, that's not me. <laughs> Uncle, Uncle Lou gave you the name Roostick. Like yeah, Cody did. Uh, the water mama. Pretty dang high. Mm. Good oh, morning, yeah. Brandon. How you doing? All right. <clears throat> yeah, Uncle Lou named me Peach. I knew then he liked me. <laughs> yep. But, uh, Oh, hit anybody out there want to come up? Hit that doggone link. Come up here and let's have a, a party tonight. There you go, Uncle Lou. Hey, type the word hog in and let not might drop your link for you. Okay. Yeah, and hit them thumbs up. Yes, sir. Man, I only got 38 thumbs up yesterday. Wow, there was more people than that in here. Hey, I know it. What in the world? Yeah. Well, just had to deal with the, what give give you what the, the what they give you, I guess. Yeah, that's right. And if you if you if you really like it, make it three thumbs up. Four. We're going for four. No, you can wanna keep it odd numbers. <laughs> All right, welcome in, Wolf Den. Well, Rick, yeah, you know how old even. Morning, Kurt. Morning, Rustic. I'm sure it's my fault. Oh, Rick. Oh, no, you did not. I probably got uh, only that because of what I, the news, of the bomb I dropped on him yesterday. Yeah. He brought up that picture of Catfish Dave and everybody retracting the thumbs. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Wallbash. Nate, welcome in. Morning, Nate. Morning, Nate. Mississippi <laughs> Live with Stephen Colton. Welcome in. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I hit it twice yesterday. Uh, that, well, that means you didn't he, give me a thumbs up, Uncle Lou. What's wrong with you? No, I kind of figured it was that bomb I dropped on yesterday. Nah, that ain't nothing to do with it. Everybody needs, needs time off, man. Everybody does. Yeah. But those who don't need time off are the ones who are extremely obsessed with it. They they love it so much that they they just can't stay away. Oh, and, yeah. they'll catch them and then they'll say, well, I need to take some time away. I got to rest. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, that's, I've been at it for two and a half years, you know. Yeah. So, and I will math is, <laughs> yeah, right, Uncle Luke. Well, on YouTube, is nothing. <laughs> oh, you got a description. Awesome. Are you come on up too, Skywalker. Yeah. I'm going to go Thursday, just depending on the weather. Oh, man. All right. Rustic picked up some scripts yesterday. 32. He did. Oh, man. 32 scripts. I didn't go skipjack fishing last week because I had therapy, therapy, doctor's appointment therapy. So I, And then it was Easter weekend. I said, I'm staying with the family. I ain't with <laughs> my family. Well, where you been hiding, Wolf's Den? I've been sleeping a lot. Sleeping a lot? I ain't You're seen you in the They sleep out in the woods. They get in that den. They're hibernating. <laughs> That's exactly right. Good morning, Don Johnson. Welcome in. Morning, Don Johnson. Welcome aboard, Stephen and Cordy. Good morning. Stephen. Oh, look there. He got his coffee. Coffee time. Oh, look at that. Got that coffee. 
hunters and oh, yeah, yeah. other liars. Nah, right? Stay your butt in here, broke <laughs> back, Bob. Okay, I'm bored. Bob Luth, you ain't never bored. You're the only person I know that can entertain itself and laugh so hard. <laughs> oh, no, Austin <laughs> also can too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That, that possum, he's something else. <laughs> he, he's wide open. Oh, 24 7. Yeah. And more to go. If y'all ever get around possum and he gets to know you, he, he is he is funny to be around. He can make you laugh. Uh, what time do y'all go to bed? I believe, yeah, man. Uh, probably about 10 or 11 in the morning, and then we get up. I have to get up at four o'clock to take my medicine. Uh, sometimes I go back to bed, sometimes I go to sleep, back or go back to bed, or stay up. Now, Melissa, on the other hand, she just stays up. Me, I go to bed between eight and ten, and it don't matter with me with my insomnia. I'm up and down all night. Then I'll wake up between two and three o'clock anyway. Don't matter what time I go to bed. Good morning, Stone Fly. Welcome in. Yeah, we've been not out since we both worked graveyard shift for so long. Yep. I used to, have to start working six in the morning and I drove an hour one way. So, you know what time I had to get up <laughs> to get ready to go. And so it's just stuck. It's like an automatic yeah. clock in your brain that says, okay, time to get up. Well, I, I've always worked at night. And, uh, and that's when I mainly drove my truck was at night yeah. because it was, there was much less traffic on the road. It was cool. cooler on the road. Uh, and so I drank, drove mainly at night. So there you go. Yeah, uh, I was on video chat with John Walter last night, and he was showing me the the river. Uh, what was that? Mommy River? It's done broke its bank. I was like, oh, good Lord. Oh, break, break, Bob. I think Jake is supposed to max out, get up real high. Our river was going down uh, the other day when we come across it, but we're fixing to get all this rain again. You know, and we didn't hardly get none of that rain that came through here. Hardly uh, yeah. not, in, not in the area that I live in. Now, you go up a little bit north, they got a bunch with we under a tornado watch right now. We were yesterday when it come through, but it didn't last long. And man, in Florida, radar, them jokers were like passing through quick. Well, when it come uh, it's it gonna go, we right in here all the way to eight o'clock. That's what it is right there. Oh, where the blue dot at? Yeah, that's kind of like it was yesterday when I come across here. It was a long, slender strip that yeah. passed across. Moving fast, yep. Man, it got up to 80 degrees yesterday here. <laughs> out. It's 75 here now. What I it's have enjoyed is shutting off the air and the heat and opening every window in the house and letting the breeze play through. I think this one is strong 45. Now they're saying snow tomorrow with uh, was 73 yesterday. Yeah, I see on the weather this morning uh, where they were showing the uh, other side of that Great Lake, they're looking at almost two feet. Wow. Yeah. I thought you keep that up there. Yeah, 75. See right there? 
Uh, where we at? Where we at? 39, 55. Oh, man, it's 39. What stone fly is? 55. 59 and Roanoke. Oh, I see it's Troy and Pomeroy. 41 in St. Joseph. Oh, man. Yeah, can you believe how warm it's been getting during the day and then how cold cool it's getting at night? I'm like, come on. Temperature <laughs> during daytime temperature, it should be 50, 60 degrees at night. Uh, it has been down here. I'll peek out my window, window and watch the rain and blow like crazy. Yeah. I can hear it out that window right there. The wind is blowing like. Yeah, it's like mine. I got you sitting right there, and I can hear it when it comes up. Well, it's a it's a steady blow, and then every once in a while. Now we did have some hail around us, but we didn't have it at our house. Yeah, I heard there was places some hail. Wow. I think Bugman said yesterday he got some hail that didn't last long, but then it started pouring down on me. You guys can have it from Omaha down. Ah, no, we don't want it, Uncle Lou. You got to keep it. No, we don't want it. <laughs> and Bob Lou lives on the other side of Missouri over. <laughs> yeah. So he lives a ways from y'all, huh? Yeah. Well, it's amazing that uh, Danny Stone, you, Possum, who else? Richard. Richard is all in that same area. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. But it is what it is. But yeah, we we're all like right in the line. <laughs> wow. Uncle Lou send it. You and Rusty got me curious. No, Melissa. No. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. Yeah. Not for your eyes. <laughs> Trust me. Don't want to send it. I'll make my send it to who, Melissa? You. <laughs> Yeah, go ahead and send it. Send it, Uncle Lucas. Send it. Next show. Boy, go and take pictures today, tomorrow, Friday. They have wooden board gauge. Oh, wow. 46 foot at my flood road in Pomeroy. I'm going to take pictures tomorrow and Friday. They have wooden board. Hey, got to use hey, it yet. Send it to Hog Lake. What's it? He'll show. Yeah, send it to me and I'll show him Uncle Lou. <coughs> no, that's don't fly. <laughs> you know what? Oh, so, so don't oh, don't fly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Send it to hogleggcatfishing at gmail.com. Oh, I'll just put it. How far are you from Sedalia? Rusty. Pretty good ways. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I'll just put it this way. You're not going to want any more milk when you see it. It made, it made J-Dog run out by a prairie farm. <laughs> wow. I have, I'll have to send pictures of where I fish at normal depth and then what looks like underwater. You got one of them underwater cameras? That's awesome. Wow. It's a lot of people's getting them and can't use Mississippi River unless you're out in a boat or something like that because it's too dark and you would be able to see this is real close. <laughs> I see you laughing. And uh and uh but in the creeks and stuff, man, I bet that'd be awesome to watch that fish fight in that water. Yeah. 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 
Well, if you could get you like a little toy submarine that you could submerge and float, you know, that would be something nice you could do. Yep. You could at least you know, have a way to bring it back up to the surface. It looks like. Okay. Good morning, Gabe. Good morning, guys. How are you doing? It looks like you forgot something. Gabe, you're on top of chat, buddy. <laughs> with that, with, with that muscle shirt on, you forgot your sleeves. Oh, oh, oh these, these old things. You know? No, it looks like, today here, man. It looks like you forgot your muscles. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I need to take those steroid shots again. You know. Yeah, I'm just messing with you, man. No, I'm talking, I don't care. It's hot. I don't care what I look like. I hear that. Oh, y'all have a full house tonight, Gabe. Y'all do. Hey, we got five, we got five, four people up here with you. Uh, yeah. Well, no, five, four. We got you four. and the four of us. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Oh, counting me five. Yeah. Yep. And Melissa's six. Yeah, I I think she trying to give it to me because I've been sneezing and, and runny nose, coughing. It's it's that. Pollen stuff, man. It's that time of year. Yeah, the pollen has been terrible down here. This is about the fifth week of it, you know. I have been lucky. I haven't had a issue with it this year. Oh, you are lucky. It's been so wet the last two years here, the last two winters. So the, they said the allergies are at a twenty-year high right now in our area. Kick on my butt, man. Used to, I, man, pollen didn't bother me. I can get outside all day long playing it. But now, oh, my God. It didn't used to bother me. Get, we went out to Phoenix, Arizona for my grandma's funeral, and the smog was so bad that day. Uh, I, now I just, the sinuses get tore up during this time of year. Oh, wow. There you go. Make it bigger. Like the Brady Bunch. <laughs> oh man. Well, Chan ain't moving, y'all. Yeah, Chan, what happened? Chan. Did it freeze? So come on, get that chat rolling. Hog oh, legs wind must have went up into the chat. Blew everybody away. Yeah, must have. I think <laughs> it, it there might be yelling out there right now. Dang, I thought I broke something, but now you're back. It didn't. I didn't hit it hard enough. <laughs> More D. Uh, Gabe ran everybody off. Good morning. I'm telling you. Good good morning. Morning. Welcome in. <laughs> Steve Ransom said, no, we're just sitting here enjoying our coffee. Yeah. You probably uh, don't drink coffee or energy drinks now at this time, D. Gabe. <laughs> oh man good morning jimmy Geiger. welcome in yeah this is my first one i've been drinking water most of the day wow wow hey curtis i'm gonna say you want to go bro you go curtis you want to go bro yeah well I, i've been i've been drinking on <laughs> Good old sweet tea, most all day long. <laughs> sweet tea. All right, Uncle Si, you got to get that blue cup he's got too. Well, it's blue, but it's not not that cup. He uses a Tupperware cup. Yeah, no, that is no. Yeah, Bob Lou said lemonade for him. Four cups are nice. Well, actually, I do got one. Uh, See, Donald, I ordered some. Picked up some. He went over there uh, that way, and he visited visited them, and he bought a bunch of their merchandise. Got a Uncle Side Blue Cup, you know. Uh, yeah, but it's in the uh, it's behind glass, just like your coffee cup and LG basses that y'all sent me behind glass. 
What's up, man? But I getting this thing over here ready, and it's gonna be in here when I come back. I'll be right back, hold I gotta go out, come back in. All right. Yeah, when I come back, it's, the things are going to look a little different. I'm, I got my stickers. There's a whole court wall over there on that side. I got my stickers pinned up there, and I got my hats up there. And I got I got a shelf right there. I'm going to put, you know, the coffee cups and all that stuff up there that I want to show off. Um, yeah. You sound like me. Yep. I was wondering where your sticker board is. It's, it's missing. Now you just got that possum back there. Yeah, I got I got to put that possum over there on that wall too, cause Shirley T sent that to Melissa. <laughs> uh, I got a couple. I got my Happy Dad hats. I got a couple of a uh, got a white and a black one. Oh wow! Those that was kind of cool. Yeah. More yeah, I got some shelves going. I know exactly what you're talking about, dude. I got to do the same thing. Yeah. Ooh, says flex them pythons for us. I already did, man. I'm too tired to flex. I, I, <laughs> I'm still like physically. I'm not physically exhausted. I'm just mentally exhausted. Like my soul is tired. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's how I am, man. I, it's just I. Oh, Laura, it's a long day. Uh, that's how I am. It's just, I, I'm, I'm burned out. Yeah. Right now. I am so burned out right now. And uh, I need a little break. <laughs> and I'm going to take me one. And, but I'm going to come back. And I'm taking a break. Not quitting, but I'm taking a break. I'm coming back. Look for uh, look here. I'm gonna scroll that thing. Hmm. So, when are you taking that break? Tomorrow night will be my last show. For how long? Don't know. You know, I ain't putting a time limit on it. Good morning, David Hughes. Welcome in, Pontoon Jody. You may not know it, but Melissa been making hog leg use cause of this. Ah! <laughs> oh, no, I, I, believe it or not, this is my whole bedroom, and this used to be my eBay room. I used to sell out of, of here. Uh, uh, a little something y'all didn't know about me. Uh, I used to go buy them storage uh, units. And uh, before the catfish community, we were in with uh, the reselling community. And we were, uh, Melissa was one of, uh, what the hell's first mods. And uh, they're now they we knew them before they had two thousand subs. Now they're probably close to five hundred thousand, if not more. Uh, we knew uh, Renee, you know the one that on the on the uh, storage wars. Oh yeah, uh, we we personally know them. And uh, they they they've sent us a bunch of stuff. Uh, we know uh, little that little that little redhead woman and and the man. What was her, what was her name? Uh, we're, I think I know who you're talking about. Oh man! And we know, uh, huh? I have to go back and watch it. I, yeah. I think I know who you're talking about. And we know uh, a guy named Pirate. He was on one of the. He was on Storage Wars, but he was on the other uh, uh, shows. Uh, 
he lives in California, uh, right outside. I, you called it out one day, you know. Uh, he he he's doing good down there, man. Ooh. All right, enough about that. There you go, Uncle Lou. Draw me in. All right, Jody. You're welcome in here. The season finale is what you're going to call it then, huh, Huggy? Huh? The Boar's Nest season finale tomorrow night? Hey, yeah. Well, no, not the season finale. Well, it is a season because there's going to be another season. Right. Nothing yet from Curtis, huh? No. I ain't heard a word out of him. <laughs> a clue. <laughs> Funny. Okay. Or didn't wait to fall asleep until he was on panel. <laughs> Do you want to tell him or you want me to tell him, Hogleg? What? So when the Boar's Nest comes back, the new co-host of the Boar's Nest is going to be none other than Catfish Dave. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, dog and die. Welcome in. Oh, dog and I. That's a draw, <laughs> I ain't got nothing against Catfish Dave. But, uh, oh, I know. I'm trying to see if Mark's out there. Because that always brings Mark up here. Every time I mention him, Mark jumps up on panel. Battery comes running. <laughs> <Jack. laughs> but as long as he stays to himself and I stay to myself, we'll, we'll be all right. Morning, Jody. I mean, the guy catches fish. There ain't no doubt. There ain't no doubt. He ain't First like more he was doing that. He went fishing. He inspired and helped a lot of people. Yeah. Now, so. Kudos. He ain't like nobody else, he puts the time. Huh? Yep. What'd you say, Rusty? Said he ain't like nobody else, he puts the time into catching fish. He just don't go out there and boom, boom, boom. Yeah. I mean, sometimes I'll get lucky. We go out there and boom, boom, boom. But a lot of times now. <laughs> yeah. Right. I think what did it for a lot of people, what I, might, I think is he's, he prided himself on being a shore fisherman. And then, and then he said, "I'll never get a boat. I'll never get a boat. You don't need to catch big fish on a boat. You can do it from the shore." And then he got a boat. And I think that's where a lot of people were, D. you know, rubbed the wrong way. He, he said he probably steals them from a kid on the bank. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Then he used to bring them cougars on, and the dog rug being he doesn't use it except. Good morning, Jody. No, uh, no, bro, back, Bob. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. do that. <laughs> no. no. He'll get it out someday. Yep. Oh, yeah. And then that, too. I heard about that. The dog. I bet. Huh? I heard he kicked the dog or something like that. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, he kicked the dog. But, See, no. Bro, 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 I've done had that thing out fishing. Now, I ain't got the skunk off of it, but I done had it out fishing two or three oh. times. That thing just won't catch no fish. It's so pretty. When you, you rearrange yeah. your office and you turn towards your wall, we can see your wall, put your little pegs up there and hang the rod on it like this so we can all see it. Okay. <laughs> when you go fishing, uh, just turn it off. When you get back, put it back on. <laughs> there you go. And I, I thought about bringing all my rods in, in this room and uh, making a little rod rack. I got uh, I got a bunch of rods that people have sent me, though. Yeah. Uh, I think I got three Uncle Lou's and a Mad Cat. Well, I got some uh, clearance, clearance rods. That's all I need. I'll be right back, y'all. All right, you got that right, Uncle Lou. He said, the only thing I'll say about Dave is, is you at least get, you know what you get. That's true. That deep, yeah. that locked in space there. 
Did y'all see that what Gabe put up there yesterday? That old Gabe had that loss in space stare. <laughs> <laughs> That's his stare when you're talking to him. Is he's like he's not there listening to you. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, I'd, then. Imagine. <laughs> I'd imagine so. Okay, I'm back. I watch every show every day, but I'm not going to sideline him because everyone else <laughs> don't like it. And that's where I am. Well, it's all right, y'all. Y'all can come out and tell the truth now. You know that I'm not going to give nobody a hard time. You know, I used to—that's all I used to watch before I discovered hockey. I watched Captain Jack. Be funny sometimes. Uncle Lou wants to know Skywalker who's winning the NCAA tournaments. All I know, Uncle Lou, is I am really happy. That LSU, that women's team lost after not going out there for the national anthem. That's that's the best karma in the world. Hmm? Yeah, they, they they started playing the national anthem, so the whole team left the court to go in the back to protest it, and then they ended up losing that game. So, hey, good for them. They should have lost it, man. Good they should have lost it. But yeah, I don't know. Uncle Luke, I don't follow college basketball that that much. I got I already got the professional sports all going right now, so that's why I'm just burned. Yeah, the whole, the whole stadium should have booed them out of there as soon as they walk back out. And in LSU, that's Louisiana State, right? Yeah, yeah. I thought that was you know some patriotic people down there. I guess. Yeah, not. me too. Why would they do that though? I don't. It's just the women's team. It, the men's teams ain't doing it no more. It's just it's, it's the women's like soccer teams and their basketball teams. I don't know, man. Makes no Is sense. Full lesbians. If anything, they should be mad that they're letting men play their sports. You know what I mean? That's what they should be protesting. Yeah, yeah. That oh, ain't yeah, right. Yeah. You know, women yeah. are getting hurt now. They're getting their teeth knocked out. They're getting concussions and. It's it's too bad because they should women should have something for themselves, you know. Yep. I think they should do away with all gender specific sports and just have basketball, only tennis, only golf, and let men and women compete together. Well, that's how it is now. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> that's what it is. Well, the only reason why they let them in there with their women is because they're afraid they get their butt suit off nowadays. Yeah, you ain't going to know these men trapped in the NFL. I'll tell you that. You get killed out there. Mm, yeah. Um, but, yeah, no, I don't know. I'll, I'll check on that for you, though, bud. I don't know who's who's uh, who's going to win the tournaments. Uh-oh, are you okay, Melissa? Yeah, that's what I had to uh, go for. Yes, take a teaspoon of honey and that a culture throat to keep from coughing. We ain't got no honey, man. Oh, man. Yeah. Somebody's got what? feedback. Huh? I think that might be I'm the worst feedback then. from somebody. Yeah, yeah, I'm thinking that might be me. Uh, I'm gonna hop down and see if that, see if I can figure it out. Okay, okay. All right, All right y'all. I'll be back shortly. All right, man. All right, sir. Take it easy. Yep, y'all too. Me and players support. Please. Only way to get me not playing. Or supporting national. Okay. <laughs> Country road. <laughs> Country roads. <laughs> oh man. I ain't gonna lie. Like I used to I used to not like that man when I was a kid. <laughs> For no reason. I just thought he was a dork. But you know, I was a I was a kid, I didn't know. John Dem, you know, I thought there was this guy with goofy hair and glasses. I'm like, who is this guy? 
Yeah, he's a legend, man. Because I was looking up the, you know, the the the, the outlaw country star like Willie Hank and all. You know, that's what I thought. You know, you should look like. And I'm like, who the heck's this John Denver hippie looking guy? You know? Yeah. Yeah. Somebody still. Okay. You seen some of them women playing basketball? They're big. <laughs> some of them are. Uh, David, you said uh, South Carolina going to win it all. Oh, okay. Well, they're the ones I think that beat LSU, the women's team. I don't, I don't know. Uh, Duke got eliminated, I think. Huh. I don't know because I don't keep up with I don't keep up with nothing but college, college football. I will. College football. How are the dogs looking this year, Maggie? Make a I, don't, again, I, I don't even know. I ain't going to lie because I don't even know. I heard one of them got in trouble uh, last week or so and got caught DUI. And, you know, that was a bad deal. One of the main players, a few main players left. You know, but I don't even know. I, you know, I haven't even gotten into the college football since. I, that just blowed my mind this past season, you know, that uh, that happened the way it happened. Uh, yeah. I don't, I don't understand. I don't, I, I don't understand college football when it comes down to stuff like that. Uh, I, I, I don't care how many times they try to explain it to me. I just never will. But I do know it's all about this. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, Nick Saban said one of the reasons he got out was when he first started coaching, you met with parents and told them about how you were going to help not only their sons to play football, but help them to become a better human being and all this type of stuff. And now they come in and all they want to hear is how much you're going to pay my child. Uh-huh. Care about nothing else. How much money are you going to give my kid? Yeah, all right. Look at that snazzy and shirt. Want to really ruin college football? What'd you say? Just, say, look at that snazzy shirt you're wearing. Oh yeah, my uncle Lou. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's a hundred and fifty dollar uh, tank top right here. But I'd much rather have that uncle Lou shirt. I'm just saying. Hundred and fifty dollar tank top. Yes, sir. <laughs> well, this is a two hundred dollar Uncle Lou shirt. That's priceless. Go. That's a priceless <laughs> shirt right there. I wear that with pride. Well, I do. Yeah. I do. Yeah. I, I wear any of the shirts, but I love my Uncle Lou. Thank you, Steve. But even in fishing, men are more aggressive and have less fear. I would never go under the dam like they do to catch a fish. A fish isn't worth my life. Yeah, I, you know, like a fish ain't worth your life, Cody. No. Some people think it is, but it's not. I do too, gig. I wonder what the heck that is. It sounds like, yeah. It sounds like someone's watching TV in the background or something. Don't it? Yeah. Somebody, yeah. Well, the feedback is still there. It doesn't really sound like feedback, though. It sounds like someone's watching TV or something. Like background noise is what it sounds like. Oh, goodness. It's coming down out there. Is it? And I have checked, and everything is on silent. Yeah, just- it might be my computer because you know I had some trouble coming in. Um, Gabe, is your mic? Well, I was muted. Did it, Did you still hear it? No. Oh, I don't hear it's nothing. Gone. Let me uh, mute it's my gone. mic. Nobody says nothing that's quiet. And then when someone says something, you can hear it. 
Well, wake up in the morning, drink a cup of coffee, go to the Hog Lake Show, and do without toffee. I don't know what I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll try to get the conversation going to see if it's better. Yeah. Y'all need to talk and chat, man. What in the world? Give us something to talk about. Yeah, Jody said, "Hot dog." We'll talk about Jody. Now that, now that she's in here, we let me let me, mute, let me mute. Everybody talk. Let me mute one at a time. Melissa, you drink your coffee. Drink you some warm coffee. Maybe that'll help. Hey, good morning. Welcome to the Boar's Nest. Now it's your turn, Steve. Do oh, what? I heard it. I still heard it. Now you talk, Steve. What would you like for me to say? I'm just trying to eliminate whose microphone it is. I got Steve and Gabe. Is it me? I hope it ain't me. Please don't let it be me. <laughs> I don't want it to be me. Now, now I'm going to mute myself. And Oh, we got it. Oh, I got the show now. Everybody's muted. I can say, hey, what y'all doing out there today? I don't know. You still doing it? No. 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 It might be me. Let me go out and come back in Okay. All right. I don't know. The host is a problem this morning. Yeah. I don't, I don't oh, yeah. I was reading the end of the stream, though. <laughs> well, there's no here. worst possible uh, squares here. Do y'all still here? Welcome to the Mississippi Life Show with my guests, Gabriel and Rustic. You guys still here, right? No, I don't hear nothing. All right. Do we hear um, it now? Yep, still hear it. Is that, is that KP? It might be, you know. It might be. It might be. I don't hear anything with Rustic on silent. I don't either. I think it's you, Rustic. You need to go out and come back in again. Rustic, you've become a problem this morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. We got to change this. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I just don't like that. No scooch, dude. All right. Let's try it again. Don't know. He's doing that to get more tips for the cookie jar. <laughs> Who's doing that for the cookie jar? Rusty? Sorry, it was my mic. I was talking down. No, Uncle Lou. Uncle Lou, you better stay in here. Yeah. You still hearing it? Not, not nearly as bad, no. No, not nearly as bad. I don't know how it's me. There's nothing running the TVs to turn them down. And what you, I tell you what, what you got. Let me check your mic settings. Uh, well, so you're going to make me sing like Garth Brooks song, are you? What? Hey, y'all. Talk now. Is it yes. still? I probably have to restart my phone. Golden Corral, Golden Corral, Golden Corral. All right, do that again. What? Hello. How do you Golden Corral. Golden Corral. I can't do nothing more than yours. Uh, da, 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 da. 
That's Jake Steve with the cool one. Okay, edit him. Uh, let's check yours. Okay. Uh, everything looks good. Let's check mine. I had a stone fly and lost 27 Oops. pounds. I found it. Uh, yeah, I think I found it too. Watching WrestleMania. Yeah. Morning, pig. There you go. Porcupine pig. Anybody watching Check WrestleMania? This week? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Man, that's a big black mic Gabe is using. Yeah, it's a nice mic, too. All right. Definitely not top of the line. It's like maybe low middle of the line. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I got a $50,000 surgery I got to come up with in the next couple of weeks. So some wow. things got to be put on hold. This, this the mic that I'm using is called a snowball. Yeah, those are nice for for and they're not expensive either. But they're no, really they, nice. they about seventy bucks. Get them now, I think for fifty. That's why. No, oh, I paid like seventy bucks for that one. Oh, okay. That was it's, years ago, though. Is that a Yeti microphone? I got one. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, Gabe's is a Yeti. And this blue, uh, th these are actually made by Yeti. Snowballs, uh, made by Yeti. Or John. Come out. I'm going to come out and come back in. Maybe, maybe I'll try that. All right. Good morning, small water charters. Welcome in. Go to Mexico, get that surgery for 500, Gabe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, man. Dog and I, I guess. No, Southeast Ohio. What? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, believe it or not, though, uh, Lee Evans was supposed to send me a Yeti microphone, but I, I never got it. It's got a boss microphone connected to uh, Ooh, two, two wisdom teeth. <laughs> Feel for you, buddy. Uh, who are you talking to, Pokemon? You talking to uh, Gabriel? Gabe? Gabe? Uh, is that a boss microphone connected to a Technics mixer? I got a cop flexing my muscles again. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know them. I was live yet. I'm sorry, guys. Stretching them bones. Gabe, is that a, a boss microphone connected to a Technic mixer? You ain't speaking my language. I don't know. I just pulled it out of the box and plugged it in. <laughs> New technology do not. I, nah. I don't. I don't know any of those terms. I've been looking at Yeti microphones. They're good. They're good, They're good for the price. Yeah. I mean, you yeah. get a really good one for hundred bucks. Yeah. But you know, I'd only recommend it if you're serious about like YouTube. You know, if you're not, then you don't need to spend that much. Get a hold of Lee Evans, and he might send that microphone to you. That he's gonna send to me. Uh, Jody, I got rid of mine years ago. Years ago, John. Good luck. What? A Bose, Bose Michael. What? What did you get rid of? Oh, 
do that. Man, small hooker doesn't take away any real wisdom. Gabriel, yeah, he was talking to you, Gabriel. What was that? About the microphone. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we might lose power because there's a bunch of thunder going out there. Three or four months ago. Be yeah. a radar, Hoggy. Three or four months ago, and you haven't gotten that yet. USPS must have lost it. Yeah, that's, <laughs> he said he sent it to me. I got lost in the mail. Yeah. So, are you really taking a break, Holly, or is this? Open? No, Stonefly, I'm really taking a break, but I promise you I will be back. Uh, I'm not telling, saying when I'll be back because I'm not going to set a time on it. Uh, but I will be back. I don't know what time slot I'll be in. Maybe this early morning time slot will be taken. You know, that's weird. I built this. <laughs> Nobody else wanted this early morning time slot. So, are you in? Are you in South Georgia, Huggy? Yeah, Southwest Georgia. Okay. Well, it looks like hopefully it looks like the most of the bad stuff's passing through. It'll be gone quickly. I'm yeah. looking at your radar right now in your area. Yeah. That's good. Won't be back. Going to enjoy the freedom. Ah, no, I'll be back. What makes me think? You seen it? <laughs> yeah. I got to watch the bait shop, and I got to watch these other guys, man. They're killing me. Wow. Yeah. Well, ain't nothing wrong with a bait job. I know. A bait shop. I'm playing. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, man. I'm oh, throwing yeah. the board in its reruns, I guess. Same time, no matter. <clears throat> oh, we got burnt out on a, most of the evening shows and have just quit watching them. Not that, you know, I don't like the people anymore. I just kind of, you know, can't burn out on it. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I'm getting all my, I'm getting all my teeth pulled out. And they're going to put the that all on four in my top jaw, so I might look different next time you see me. I'll know tomorrow. I, I'm, I got to get a finance because I don't, you know, I don't got 50 grand laying around. I just got this freaking house. Ooh. If it that set, then it's two weeks away. And yeah, maybe. Small words is I'm getting two pulled in a couple of hours. Oh, I've been there, man. Been there, John. That's why I'm, I'm, I've had it. I'm done. I'm, I'm done with. Endless dental bills, and the older I get, my teeth are failing. Uh, I'm just had it. Yeah, I got to go for cleaning later this morning. A dog gone. Everybody's going to the dentist. That's a good yeah. thing. That's what you do. Oh, sweet. But then once I pay off the, the loan for the tops, then I get the bottoms put in. So there, <laughs> there's another 50. Yep. Like just wow. when you think you're getting ahead financially, something comes up, you know, never fails. Jody says, I bet you'll talk different. Hopefully. I hate the way I talk now since I've had these, uh, these partials in. It's like talking with a mouthpiece in. Stonefly says they only last about seven years. No, not the ones I'm getting. They're top of the line and they're titanium. Um, and I got a warranty on them. So, lifetime warranty. 
Uh, you like my mate Troy channel? Uh, your boy Troy or uh, Ribbon Virtual Troy? I don't, I don't, that's the only two Troys I know. I only know, uh, yeah, I only know, uh, video, I call him video game Troy because he plays the video <laughs> game. Ribbon Virtual Troy. Yeah. Wow, I made it down that time. Dude, 50 just dropped out. Yeah. I would. I thought about going to a different state because it's half the price, but then I got to get on a plane. And I, I just want to go home after it's done because that's a big surgery, man. I don't want to be on the road. I don't want to be on a plane while I'm trying to recover. Yeah, I like a real and virtual uh, Troy. I think my wife sometimes about her teeth. I say, honey, in two more years, those babies are yours. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! And dog and I said, "You getting put over that California barrel?" Oh, every day. Every time I put gas in my car, I go to the grocery store. But we won't talk politics on here, man. Well, no. Um, let's uh, we need to advertise Wednesdays and Thursday shows. We'll advertise Friday shows tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I need to send Hogwake like the new. Yeah, what you waiting on, man? I'm trying to design it up for you to show people. I'll have it to you today. Hey, you okay. can't rush an art piece. Like. There you go. Speaking of art pieces and, and real and virtual, uh, let's see. I mean that uh, virtual fishing league. Uh, Troy is running, and I won week three, brook trout. Week three, week three. I mean, uh, and I also won the big fish, eight point. 54 pounds, brook trout. And I'm in second place in the standings. Yep. That's awesome, dude. We gotta, get, we gotta get order one of them championship belts that I got. Yeah, there you go. The Boar's Nest logo on the front. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna put that uh, thing that's way back there. <laughs> back there that you gave me for Christmas. Yeah. I'm going to move it closer so, so that you can tell what it is. It just looks yeah. so far back there. It does, but yeah. it's just it's the, the camera angle. You know, it's probably yeah. really not, you know. Yeah. But, uh, it says, uh, it's just going to be a neon light with a wooden backing. It's going to say the, the Skywalker DFS show. It's going to go, I think, right there. And then I'm going to move everything more this way a little bit and then put shelving like you and put some stuff up there and yeah yeah but i wish i i could have a corner to put it in because then i would have two walls you know uh, yeah it's always best to do corner shots because you can yeah because you yeah. got two walls there yeah but i can't do because the only corner i got i can't do it because there's a closet door right there, and there's a, you know, I just, there's a whole table that runs the length of the room over on that side. That I, I got the I start my plants on. All right, the closet step down for a little bit. All right, Steve. All right, Steve. Up here in a few minutes. I may not be able to. So if not, I will see you tomorrow morning. All right. All right. All right, y'all be good. All right. Take it easy, Steve. Uh, 
Thanks for coming in, uh, Small Water. Use 10% on the entire right. order, Mad Cat's gear. Yeah, I wish you luck. Good day. What's wrong? What's up, Air folks? I have a great day. One more day till Ooh. it's over. Yeah. He's having two teeth pulled today. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, that's easy, John. I've, I've done that. <laughs> yeah. I, I have all my front teeth. Oh, these are real. It's just my molars are gone. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> you're here, Dave. I'm going to uh, do this real quick. Uh, 2 p.m. this afternoon, Eastern Time, Real and Virtual Outdoors over there on Toys Channel. If y'all don't have him, please subscribe to him. That's right. Huh? You ain't his cop show, man. His, when he's playing the cop game, oh, he's merciless. <laughs> Am I fuzzy, y'all? No. No. Uh, the TV must be something wrong with the TV, Melissa. Well, guess what, y'all? Uh, a few of us have started a farming community on a server, and that's what he's going to be playing today. We've just now started it. So y'all be sure to tune in to uh, Real and Virtual today. He's going to be on our community farm. All right. And then... The bait shop, Thursday night. What? Oh, man, I'm, I'm all messed up, man. <laughs> That's Thursdays. This is Wednesday, right? It's Wednesday, yeah. Okay, it's hump day. Look at oh, the out there. Eight o'clock tonight, them two bookends are going to come on. They ought to be brothers. And they talk some about some good stuff over there, if you like to pay them. And then, at nine, <laughs> hum day over on Retired Rigs channel. They talk about just about anything over there. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, here you go. And if you like, if if you like live fishing, be sure to tune in to Scoop Daddy Cindy. Uh, I think she's going uh, live at six thirty now. And then Thursday. Uh, man, are you sure this is Wednesday? No, oh, yeah, Wednesday, yeah. Okay. Well, then he might be going today then because I know uh, Troy told me earlier that uh, that he was going to go live on the, on the uh, community farm today. Uh, but y'all be sure. Y'all be sure to tune in to Troy. Y'all be looking for him at uh, 2 p.m. this afternoon. Okay, please. Oh, Uncle, you got one more day. One more day. Yep. But he told me he would be doing going live on the community farm today. I, you know, that's why that's what I got. That's what got me all messed up. Damn, hog. <laughs> you had me thinking this. <laughs> <laughs> No, he, what messed me up is I just spoke with Troy uh, this evening, and he said, would it be okay if he went live on the community farm? And I told him, yes, when are you going to do it? And he said, I'm going to do it today. So, I don't know, man. That's only because he wants to put the whip on Stan. <laughs> it's more yeah. important. Get that tree sleep. 
No, man. I'm telling you, that's what I thought it was today or Thursday today because, because of that right there. Make sure you don't leave that Discord on, <clears throat> on Hogley. Do, do what? <laughs> don't leave that Discord on that sound. Melissa will get you again, man. Oh, man. That was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> she said, what's that noise? <laughs> yeah, really? Oh, you going to do battles? Yes, I, I'll do battles. Uh, you smell? I sure am. If anybody wants to uh, set up a battle, y'all get together and set it up, set the rules up, and email me. Oh, That's you know right. I'm going to be. I'm doing it this for sure, several times this this uh, spring and summer. So, Jody, yeah. you better get ready. I'm coming for that crown, girl. I I just got to get uh, I got to get new award stickers because. The only ones I have has still got KP on it. Uh, and like TikTok? No, I don't do TikTok, man. Uh, battle at the Boar's Nest. Hey, Gabriel. Yes, sir. Uh, Hold on a second. <laughs> uh, You've been to a P. Diddy party? <laughs> you know, it, they offered me $50 million to go, and I had to tell P. Diddy no. I had to tell him no. <laughs> I don't want to get caught up in none of that. <laughs> Good morning, Shirley T. Oh, no. I, I promise you, uh, dog and I, I, you know, a lot of people went to uh, TikTok, Tiki Talk, but uh, I promise you, I, I won't sell it. I'm not that cheap. Well, I'm not on there either. And China knows enough about dress the United States. I'm not going to let them know about me. Morning, Chef. What up, drunken barbecue chef? Good morning. Tiki Talk. LOL Gabe is hilarious. Ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's why uh, I was quoting Cat Williams. That's what Cat Williams said. That P. Diddy kept offering him fifty million to these all. I had to tell him no. <laughs> oh man. I didn't I didn't know nothing about that. Uh, that was going on Shoot, nobody until yesterday. Oh, okay. And that is sickening. Yeah. I don't There's know. lots of Jeffrey Epstein's out there, and, and that's the second one. There's probably going to be like 20 more. Oprah, I mean, who knows? I'm oh, sure. Do you want to say hi to Martha? Hey, Nate said, Skywalker, you could have had new teeth. If you went to a piece. <laughs> Ready? Hi. So when you be mama. Hey, good yeah, right here. What's up, Schroeder? Look at check out Schroeder. Last time you were on here, you thought it was an imposter. <laughs> See, there he is. You want to stretch? No? Okay. Oh. You might be an imposter. I don't know. Uh, that cat got it made. You know it. I know. Yeah, you and Steve Adams and. I can't think of anybody else. Yeah. Luck, uh, lucky is Steve Adams' cat. It's oh, all him. Cat. <laughs> that sucker would jump on him. <laughs> yeah, that sucker. Yeah, he might bite Steve. Oh, Steve would get bit. 
Mm. Hopefully they never picked me for the boys team, Sniff. Uh, hey, where, you know, I'm not going to go from, you know, I'm not going to quit all YouTube. I mean, we're. Uh, hey, rumors are going to spread, Hoggy. Yeah. Hey, he's going to be all over Facebook. Venting himself. Well, it's going to be all over Facebook. Hoggy quit the boars match. It's going to be at watch. <laughs> Not a fake news out there. I'm I'm taking a break from this show. There you go. I'm going to spread the rumor that you know the FBI raided his home and he had connections to P Diddy, so they had to shut down the boards. I ain't no man. I ain't got nothing to do. <laughs> I, you know, I don't even I don't even know them rappers. You know. Uh, that. But why do you think you know is it coincidence that Curtis just disappeared? I don't know. Well, I don't know. He might be tied up, but he might be tied in. No, no, if they're on the news. <laughs> no way I know. Uh, the only thing Hoggy's gonna get arrested for would be uh uh worm farms. <laughs> oh, that, I forgot I was supposed to feed my water yesterday and I didn't do it. Oh man. They can be mad at me now. <laughs> he did he comes over to hog legs once a week. I need to get some worms so I can go blue gill fishing. <laughs> no. Uh, no. All right. Thanks for coming in. Uh, drunk and Chef BBQ. Remember, has Hog is going rage. Quit YouTube tomorrow. <laughs> Dog and I, interstate traffic of worms. <laughs> 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 I can see it already in the news. Uh, rumor has it. More Parker. Hog is going rage. Quit YouTube tomorrow. Uh, Miss uh, Miss D, uh, I'm not gonna quit YouTube. I'm just gonna take a break. Uh, I've been doing this for two and a half years now, and uh, I'm just gonna take a break. Uh, but I will be back. Mark that on a rock. You can etch that hey, on a rock. D, there you go. You can tell joke for a while. I think Buggy will probably Buggy will probably still do a show. You get on a Parker Pursuit. Yeah, I'm sure Buggy will still come up while while Hoggy's taking a break, but we'll all still have a place to go to. Oh yeah, I'm sure somebody. You know, I built this uh morning crowd up, and I'm sure somebody will take it. They won't. Yeah. Maybe Buggy will give it y'all a place to go. I know he said he would, it depending on his dad. Yeah. Was that thunder that just, that just roared yeah. through there? I heard that. Yeah. It's Good. a lot of it out there. A lot of it. Good morning, Stan 3. What's up, Stan 3? That lightning bolt must have been like 10 feet from your house just now. If I heard it. it yeah, it Oh, I need a few dozen of fat, juicy worms for some channel cats. That's um, just code word. That rustic. <laughs> well, send me address while back, Nate. If you know, I'm going to work, you might have 50 people in there watching. Oh, man. The news lady's going to say, yeah, the... Hogleg used the code word worms, but they were actually. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> when you ordered, you know, you worms, it was actually girls. Yeah, there you go. <coughs> Four forty pounds, nothing special. What the heck, man? What are you, what are you wanting? Oh, I'd be happy with them four forty pounders. It'd be something special to me. Four twenties, four thirties, four fifteens, four twelves. My PB's what I'd say. I don't even know how big that fish was last summer. I'd say about twenty five pounds, dude. I'd take one forty pounder. You kidding me? Yeah, me too. I would wonder the same thing, man. Uh, listen. 
see what is rage. It must be just the top of it, though. Parker says, Stan yeah. 3 is for tank. Yeah, everybody hunt for that $500 tank. Yeah. Go fish the James. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we don't. I had the tank. Oh, my God. It broke me off. Wow. Now, why'd you let it go and do that, Stan 3? Wow. <laughs> you shouldn't have let it broke you off. All right, y'all. I'm going to let Susquehanna stand tight. Hook them. <laughs> I'm going to bed, y'all. So I can rest up for the season finale of the Boar's Nest tomorrow night. Thank you. All right, um, Gabe. All right, y'all. Be right. good. Take it easy, Gabe. Thanks for coming up, man. Parker said, I've got my hundo looking for the stake record now. Oh, wow. But I have changed. It won't make that mistake again. I won't make that mistake again. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Man, it's coming down out there right now. Really? Yeah. They had farmers. They was in the fields here yesterday, uh, planting. The ground dried out when that sun popped out. But we, like I said, we didn't. We probably got a little dusting over rain. That's about it. It was sprinkles. Nothing there. Yeah, <laughs> we got rain. I figured next week. Uh. Uh. I probably had to hook up my well. Get ready to, for the warmer weather to move in and start drying out and stuff. Yeah. Because we'll get a lot of rain this time of the year, but when when spring is over done, oh be praying for rain. You don't get any more, hardly. <laughs> no, I don't know. You know. I tell you what, the wind is really, really blowing it every day. Really hard. Uh, it, I, I can't remember any year where it's blowed every day and and hard, you know. Well, it's it's man, it's it's farmers and tree remove places. They're cutting all these trees out. They change the wind pattern, so wind's gonna take path least resistance. It's gonna hit the, all the main trees, and it's gonna work its way around and hit the straight shots, and it, it's just gonna pick up and go. You know, back chopping cotton when I was a kid, man, and we was praying for a breeze. You couldn't get one. Okay. Let's just say we're on the savage level. Uh, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> on that side of the Mississippi, man, that rain come down so hard and it rained forever. And yeah, the river's going to rise. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's true, Melissa. And three. Agreed. Savages for life. Huh. I'll tell you what. Rustic could outfish y'all. Stand three and Parker. Why? I, I challenge the both of you to fish against Rustic. 
<laughs> oh no, I'm just making, yeah. More coffee, you wake up, you're dreaming. <laughs> I don't fish as much as those guys do. But when I do go, I do catch fish, but I fish as much as they do. <laughs> you just don't catch the size that they catch. Not yet. I am alive. <laughs> Good morning, Miss Place. <coughs> oh man. So like I said, the only reason why Rusty don't get in none of them tournaments because Rustic's phone don't get no signal on the river. So I leave that alone. <laughs> don't get it. No tournaments. We had storms yesterday. Everybody had storms yesterday. Oh, and Hog, I was joking. I know what a big responsibility one show a week is. I can imagine three to four shows a week. Enjoy your break. We will be here when you get back. That's awesome, D. <laughs> yeah, even for the Fish Nation show, man, I spend most of the week trying to do the intros and uh, get all the pictures and stuff people send me up, try to get up on there and and do things. I'm like, man, that's a and trying to come up <laughs> for the intro every week. Phew, what's tough? I'm telling you, man. Call for tech just hit me. Oh, oh, I was joking. I know. I don't 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 know. I can't imagine three to four hours a week. Temporarily, at least, just temporarily. Oh yeah. Thank you. Uh, They're remodeling. He's going to remodel the boar's nest. Oh, yeah. When, when, when I come back, we'll when phys come. You, you'll physically see the difference, and I hope y'all enjoy it even more. I joined the Catfish and Montreal a few days ago. I'm in first place now. Congratulations, uh, Stan Three. He's got a body for the nest. Yeah, I got to buy. I got to buy a new log over there and a new twig over there and put some. Uh, yeah, we got to go to the river pick up his furniture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good morning, fat boy, Eric. Fishing and adventures. Good morning, butt scratcher, senior. <laughs> yeah. Quit calling us a butt scratcher. Hey, I'd rather be a butt scratcher than a butt sniffer, what Brian Beeson was. <laughs> or yeah. <laughs> Yep, I'd much rather be a butt scratcher than a butt sniffer, that's for sure. Kill and I fishing made a butt tournament in Mississippi in July. Hey, yeah, I've seen, seen that. that. I've seen that, though. Uh, It'd be just like everybody else. It's a 50 50. You never know. You might go down there and win it off. Yep. Rustic, stay away from them Diddy's party. Hey, if I ever went to a Diddy's oh, party, yeah. I'd shut up. <laughs> oh, man. I'd walk into that Diddy's party. Bro, that's my diet coat. <laughs> yeah, we're not fishing separate tournament separately because no one recognizes us as a team. They just call him or Joey. James is on his own channel and is better angry than me. But I'm going to beat him. <laughs> oh, man, Judy. Yeah, they, uh, I don't know why they look at y'all that way. Uh, but no. you got two teams out there. I always two thought they were a team. You never know. Y'all got to start somewhere, Jerry. That's right. A a anytime you go fishing, it's a 50 50 chance. You're going 50, you're going to catch, 50, you're not. You never right. know until you throw. 
Fitted. Going. Fitted you ain't going. That's right. But if you're out there and you catch that one big fish, your odds just went up. Yep. That's for sure. Yeah, I agree with you, uh, Melissa. Now, if uh, that tournament was all right, we're going to have that on Jerry Parker's side of the river. <laughs> in section of the river, Jerry Parker might have a dang good chance of winning it. Because <laughs> up there where Jerry lives, at, that part of the section of the Mississippi River, that they, they have some big fish up there. They have more better quality fish than what we got on this section of the river. Yeah. They got better quality fish at the top and the bottom of the Mississippi. I yep. think. Oh, they do. Down this way, we got so many grains down here, man. Them barges keep that river moving in this area. <laughs> Oh, boy, you're right, man. Yeah, I, you know, I know that uh, you have your channel and James has his channel. And, uh, <clears throat> take him. James, help me. I'm running out of fuel. Be there in five minutes. I heard Brian B. was a bodyguard at the Diddy party. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Everybody just looks over him. I mean, just when they walk in. Yep. Yeah. And, uh, I've always thought Jody and James was a team. I mean, you see them fishing together all the time. They, to me, they are a team. Yeah, I, I I look at them as a team, but I do realize that there's two, uh, two separate identities, you know. Yeah. Good, good morning, Mrs. Humpty. Humpty. Oh, JG. Let's go. There you go, Mr. Coffee. Chris M. Hey man, how you been doing? What you doing? You can do it. Yep. The boys and ass is, is uh last night will be tomorrow night temporarily though. Temporarily. Uh I got to rejuvenate myself and the studio here. I'm going to change it around. I'm going to display my stuff better. And, you know, and as y'all know, that 16 year old uh, Chihuahua is, is going to pass away any day now. And that, that's been on my mind a lot lately. So, uh, and Melissa can't leave without him right on her tail. And the poor guy, he's so weak. Yeah. I did fix him my last piece of backstrap tonight because he wouldn't eat anything, he wouldn't eat nothing. And we have cooked everything for him, but and he he would not eat any of it. Uh, but now he did eat that last piece of backstrap. Oh man, I gave that dog my deer meat, my last piece of deer meat, and he liked it. But he's worth it. I knew he. I knew he'd eat it. He never turned it.
Yeah. He ate a little bit, but more than he's ate in two days. Yeah. And the good thing about it is I cooked it, I pressure cooked it, and it's soft and tender, and I can eat some of it too. That's right. Yeah, uh, Parker, that, we've had that more for 16 years. <clears throat> Yep. He's been around us for 16 years. Good morning, love is catfishing. Welcome in. Morning, Nubby. There you go. Thank you, Melissa, for dropping the links. And if y'all type in the word hog h-a-w-g nightbot will drop your link if you type in weather in your location nightbot will drop your weather in your location there you go i got nightbot trained like that Yes, I do. And the chat stop. Y'all better give me something to talk about. <laughs> we just be sitting around up here. Nothing to say. Is Chad late coming in or did I miss seeing Uh Oh, he is late. I think he's late. I don't know, Melissa. He he should be coming in any time. That poor dog been listening to Orange Stories. For, ah! <laughs> oh man! Hey, you are Chad. Welcome in. Sad to hear. Hold on, Chad. you all passed me with a bath. I tried to revive her. She was like, "Oh man, I'm sorry to hear that, Chris." Uh, Jody says YouTube is preventing me from being able to go see my grandbaby. You may start missing me some Fridays. Hey Jody, don't let YouTube get in the way of your life, okay? Do it. Work in the garden. Ooh, Spend some time with grandbabies. Fat boy. Fat boy, you talking about uh, that that Diddy Diddy, whatever name it, Diddy? Uh, are you sure you're not part of it? Just say, oh. Fat Boy. <coughs> yeah, he talking about everybody else. <laughs> yeah. Good morning, Uptown, Chrissy Brown. Go to, his, no go to his party. Said, I know some crap on you. You better pay me. Oh, yeah. Buck man. Buck, 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 buck. I'd be a lot richer. Ah! <laughs> yeah, morning, Buck man. Morning, Miss Chrissy. Mm. Ah, going to therapy, going to therapy. It's still dark as crap. And I'm not going to therapy. Good Lord. Wait a minute now. It is this morning and not tomorrow morning, right? Yeah. 
Yep, yeah, Wednesday at seven. I got it Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Okay. Just, just trying to save you a trip and make sure because you know how. It... Yeah, one day. <laughs> yeah. That lady was looking hard, though. <laughs> she was trying to find me. I said, what day is it? She goes, Thursday. I said, crap. I thought it was Friday. <clears throat> Chad Phil says, good morning, everyone. Morning, Chad. I do the same thing. I just. <laughs> Tell Uncle Lou to ask Chad if he's got milk. <laughs> oh, Chad said, that reminds me of one of those weird island boy kids. <laughs> Evan Mason. Morning, y'all. Good morning, Evan. Welcome in. There's our popo. That's uh, Evan Mason is KP's nephew. Who's? KP's. Oh, it's Ken's a bow. Take down. Look at that big old. Look at a big old buck you got. Wow. Man. Wow. Uncle Lou's still with us. <laughs> See, close to coming to a dance. But I'm not holding my pontoon before. Good morning, Dallas. Welcome in. Charger. Yeah, I do. I don't blame you, uh, Jody. Man, you haul you you boat that far and a uh, pontoon. Excuse me, not just a boat, a pontoon that far. And uh. <laughs> Just go up there and visit the grandbaby. You ain't got to fish. Just enjoy the baby. I enjoyed mine Sunday, man. I, I got to see them in a month. Well, when I seen them, boy, it, oh, they just make my heart flutter. Evan Mason says, that's my biggest deer, Hog. Uh, he looks kind of big in that picture right there. Yeah, hold on. Let me get over where I can see it. This is Icon. Oh, this is Icon? Yeah. Hey, Evan, uh, if you got a picture of him, uh, send it to hogleggcatfishing at gmail.com, and I'll show it off for you. Heck, yeah. Let's see. Uh, send it to that email right there. Hoglegcatfishing at gmail.com. And I will show any pictures off as long as they're fishing. What does Stan 3 say? They learned something. Uh, Learn a new trick from Richard Jean uh, for cutting bait. Got to show y'all next time I'm live. Yeah, y'all can, man, that, that dude, Richard Jean, the fishing machine. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> He's the only one on YouTube land that used nothing but light line to catch all his fish. Yeah, heck yeah. He's like me. It's all about that drag. It's all about that drag. Yeah. That is a real nice deer. Chris M. I do answer that email. When you have a legitimate email, I mean, every time I 
twice now. You sent me something, and both times, no email found. Hey, hey mine, you mine show, pulls up under your name. Yes, I'll show you a picture of uh, your garden. Good morning, Danny Stone. That dude is a little nut. But you know. Yeah. I like when old Elmo comes out in him. Oh, crap. Yeah, uh, Jody. Mine and Melissa's, I found out uh, a couple days ago, mine and Melissa is expired also. What's expired? Fishing license. Uh, you said expired. I, that reminds me, I got to check my tags make sure they're not expired. Do you remember this month or next month? My tags are good up until July. Georgia goes by your birthday on the tag. Yeah. All right, Chris M. I will try again. All right. I'll have my back. Yeah. Yeah, when well, I send you I send you an email, it, it pulls up under your name. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yep. Hey, y'all don't forget to hit them thumbs up for me, please. If you don't mind. That's right. Yesterday morning, there were like almost 50 people in here, or not more, and they only got 38. Now, y'all hit them thumbs up. Yeah. That's right. If it, that would very much so be appreciated. And all it does is show other people around the YouTube world that, that his shows really like. Yep. Yeah, we did ours through uh, the internet and it goes right straight to our phone. As long as you got your phone on, you don't have to have Hard That's right, folks. Walk by and look down at your tags once in a while. Make sure they're not going to be out of date. Yeah. So oh, yeah. They just called me about my Dodge Challenger, and they said, oh, you, you qualify for a rental vehicle. Do you want a compact or a mid-size big. I want mid-size. You keep trying my big butt into a compact. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Give me a full yes, drive Jeep. Sir. Melissa brings it to uh, light. Uh, also, folks going to the gathering, got to get a Tennessee fishing license for at least the weekend. They sell uh, one day and three days or yearly. Uh <laughs> Actually, it would be cheaper to get the yearly if you plan on going fishing more. But me and Melissa just got uh, a three-day uh, fishing license. Y'all see me catch Austin had the other night? Yes, yes. Yeah, we did. Morning, Dave Bozart. Then three. I think you got everyone. Good with that guy. Yeah. Uh, I haven't got a picture of it because I wasn't sent one, but I've seen a picture of it. I took Tay's good through the end of the month. Uh, aren't you glad you looked? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, really. My daughter got in that wreck in my car. She didn't look at hers, and hers just went out. And she was fixed to go. She said, "I'm fixed to go get them." Well, you should have done went and got them. They was only out two days, Dad. <laughs> yeah. Bugman says, "I'm now a two-state fishing license holder." Way to go, awesome. Bugman! Yeah, you got your uh, you got your home state, 
and Kentucky versus Ohio. Kentucky, ain't it? And Indiana. And I think you might have Kentucky. Good morning, man, man. Good morning. Oh, this bird put seatbelt on. Good morning. Man, I was actually hoping it rained a little bit more so I didn't have to scrape bugs off the windshield. Uh, you lazy joker. Ah, I'll tell you what, man. <laughs> It truck tall enough, I have to tiptoe or stand on a five gallon bucket to get that windshield. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yes, ma'am. Evan Mason. Thank you. Oh, my God. This is huge. Look at this, Joker. Man, y'all look at Evan's deer. This, this is KP's nephew. Good Lord. Holy cow, man. <laughs> no. That's a monster. Man, he done shot somebody's cow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Look at that angle. Uh, that's a huge choker. Wait, wait a minute. I think I can kind of see a resemblance to KP. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, in the eyes. Absolutely. Yeah, I see it. Yeah. Yeah. Way to go, Emma. That's a nice deal. I'm going to download that one. Yeah, yeah I got a bunch of pictures downloaded, you know, a bunch of fish. It can only be one of me, Denise. I ain't gonna call her last name. Oh man, look at Denise's garden. Good lord, she takes a, a small area. Anybody that says they don't have room for a garden, look at this. She grows the heck out of some vegetables. Oh, man. She got that all set up for vegetable growth. Wow. Yeah, that's that's nice. It is nuts. Welcome in, Muskrat Adventures. Rockers in the house. Morning, Roger. Yeah, that's a good book. Welcome in, Catfish Viking. That's 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 a good man. That's amazing how she could take such a small space and grow so many vegetables. Yeah, it is. That's nice, Denise.
Yeah, it's a, it's amazing. Yes, it is. Thank you, Melissa. If y'all type in the word hog, H A W G, not by will, drop your link. And if you type the word weather and your location, not by will drop your weather, your location weather. Uh, I'll send you updates and work on it. Thank you. Thank you, Dean. Yeah, I can't wait to see it when it's uh, growing. Oh, what is that? What was that? Look like black smoke. Look like smut pots. Thunderstorm with a temperature of eight seventy-three. Good Lord. Uh, thunderstorm and a temperature of sixty-nine right here right now. <laughs> uh, Uptown Christian Brown says, "That body is still drunk." Good morning, two o five wild action. Hey man, that dude right there, I, I like the way he keeps. You got a nice spot too there, 205. Good morning, small pepper. Welcome in. Johnny! Yeah, 205 is about one of the most laid back. If you watch his live streams, oh, man, yeah. he, that dude is he, he just one of the most chill people you ever watch fishing. Yep. Because exactly. that's relaxing right there. Yep. He, he knows how to do it. And you know what gets me? He is, he's one of them kind of people that, that don't believe in polluting the river. Uh, yep. I, I've seen him twice get hung up. And he go out in the water to get it. Go, go, yep. out, go out in the water to get it. Yep. Wow. Good morning, uh, Susquani Stain. Welcome in. Michael Murillo. Yeah. <laughs> I was fishing with uh, Alicia Barnett one time, hot nest fishing. Yeah. And uh, she got hung up. And, and, uh, and she waited out there. And, dug around that river and, and got that crappie jig back and uh she come wading back to the shore and i was like you know that's pretty cool you know you uh going out there to get that line on her she goes ain't got nothing new that she goes that was my favorite crappie jig <laughs> <laughs> oh man <laughs> yep yeah me and melissa like 205 channel He's laid back fisherman. Yes, he is. <laughs> Gas light of stone. Ah! <laughs> Uncle Lou says gas light of stone. Uh huh. <laughs> Uncle Lou and J Dog know what we're talking about. I can only imagine. Yep. You get them two together, and they are nuts. Good morning, Catfish Fresno. Welcome in. Yeah, how is Ernie doing these days, uh, Chrissy? Hope he's doing good. Good 
you know, I was listening earlier and you uh, mentioned uh, Steve Adams. Man, I don't ever see him no more. Uh, I see, unfortunately, I see him every day. <laughs> <laughs> me and him, me and him getting fusses and arguments. And, of course, he usually wins. see him every day. I see, I see him probably two or three times a week, but I hear from him just about every day. Me and uh, we got, we all got a virtual farm going. And it says me, uh, Susquani Stan, Steve Adams, uh, Troy, Timmy Bullock and Kelly Bullock. Uh, as a matter of fact, if I ain't mistaken, Troy says that he's going to do a show on it today at 2 p.m. And Stan, did he not say today or was he talking about Thursday? <coughs> Smoking it up now. Don't leave the Oh man, you already smoking. Thank you, Christy. Thank you. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Ah, man. That ain't Dude. good. No. That Dude, it's. Good. And he's gone. Oh, he's back. Welcome back, Danny. They got road clothes. And you know what? I'm going to find out what's going on. Oh, man. <laughs> I didn't see nothing going on. They got the road blocked off. It says road closed. There's a car in front of me, so if there's a bridge out, I ain't got to worry about it. <laughs> there you go. There you go. If I see him disappear, I just slam on the brakes. If you see them tell us fall out of his existence, then I, yeah, I'd worry. Yep. Might be a cop. <laughs> Might be the one to put the dog on road clothes sign out. Well, I was sitting there. I was parked with my headlight shining on the road clothes sign, and he went around me. So, oh yeah. Like I'm never was, slowing down though, because I'm waiting for that car to disappear. It looks like he might be drunk, but he's all over the road. No, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. Yeah, maybe the water was running through there last night, Bug Man said, yeah. No, it didn't rain enough here last night for this road to flood. Oh yeah. Small water says them those signs are just suggestions. <laughs> uh, up here. We'll see what's going on. If this bridge is closed, man, we are gonna be late, late, late today. Cause I got go all the way back around, mm, man. Why would it? Yep, would, road closed ahead. Oh man! Oh yeah, it's completely blocked off. Well, Chris ain't M no says, point getting on her now. Chris M says you can take the fields of water route, Danny. Yep. We're going to go down this gravel. I don't even know where this gravel road goes. We're going to find out together. No, they need man. the greatest thing. I know that. There's never been late. Yeah, that's right, Marilla. Welcome in, damn river boys. The Duke boys take that road. <laughs> <laughs> 
that little car going to dust me out. They I ain't never been down this road. road. I have no idea where it's going. You reckon they do? I don't know. I've got faith in it. <laughs> <laughs> We keep slamming on the brakes. Good morning, big ability. Welcome in. Is there another car in front of me? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he, he hung a right, and I thought, well, let's see if he knows where he's going. So we're just going to follow him. <laughs> he probably. We already go, yeah, we're already going to be late. Might as well have fun with it. You know what I'm saying? Man, we're going to pull up in some farmer's yard in a minute. Hey, yeah, really. Man, he's kicking up dust like crazy. Uh, what were uh let's see what was the cat uh code uh mad cat's gear ten I think let's go back what the mad cat's code yeah uh, MK ten MK ten yeah MK ten M capital K ten Let's see. Man, dude, where are you going, dude? We're in the middle of a freaking field. Trying to shake you off. He ain't getting rid of me. Let's see. I'm going back to make sure. Uh, man, that's been so long ago. <coughs> man, I got all these chicken houses back here. And every one of them shut down. <laughs> Good for you, Daddy. Well, that would be stinking. Well, it, it's bad for a lot of people right here, though. When Tyson, uh, when the plant shut down up here in this town close to us, yeah, it just yeah. killed all these chicken houses. Yeah. Yeah. It put a hurt on a lot of people. Does it make Danny feel any better that our other co-host is looking like they are driving nicely on a fine line, lane highway? Fine two lane highway. <laughs> yeah. Welcome in, Big Slim. Good morning. Uh, Rustic is headed to uh, 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 a doctor's appointment this morning. He's got a doctor's appointment at 7 o'clock. Oh, yeah, we're going to be late. Bugman says most counties are broken down into grids, and be, the 10 miles should be a county road every mile or so. Huh? That's what we're counting on. I got a pretty good idea where he's headed. You got to watch taking these back roads, though, because you think you got to got it figured out. And sometimes they just dead end in the middle of a cornfield. Yep. You talking about them scales that uh, 
they use it for the uh Uncle Lou says them scales all been calibrated off the same weight for this league. Someone could end up extremely sad at the end when you're involving money. The funds been removed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah money uh, money changes everybody. And I do mean everybody. Yeah. You know, I, me myself, I don't care personally uh, how many people get in it. But I know that uh, you've always had the same people. Back when we was doing it just for fun, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You always had the same people in the tournaments every year. Uh, man, we got every Tom, Dick, and Harry coming out the woods and everywhere jumping in it now. Which is fine. Bring it on. Let's go. Right. Uh, Mother Cray says, Danny. If you hear banjos, turn around. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a different part of the country around here, but I know where that spot's at. <laughs> yeah, it's a... Uh... It's okay, I got you. I know where I'm at now. Now we can pass them. Because there's, uh, there's that conservation sign I used to talk to KP about right there. Mm -hmm. Hold on. I told him, I said, KP, I got two choices here. I can keep going straight and go to work or I can hang a left and go fishing. <laughs> and he'd always say the same thing. Man, don't worry about going to no work. The clown go now and go fishing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's 74 in Taylor Creek. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah. Let's see. Nine minutes to make it work. Oh man, we we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. But we got we got to go faster than this guy's going. I got your uh, email, Chris. Yeah, I read it. I read it when you sent it. Thank you, Chris. And I, I, let's see. I'm just checking to make sure this email. There we go. Oh, I need that tape measure off the dash today. Yeah, they're going to have me install an air conditioning line today in that new factory, so I got to get those done. Wow. That's going to take us about a month. Let's see. The gathering. 
is May 17th through the 19th at Chester Frost Park and Pavilion number four, right outside of Chattanooga, Tennessee. Well, there'll be free food, full barbecue, hot dogs, hamburgers, baked beans, tater chips, uh, whatever. And your drinks will be sponsored by Pepsi Cola, Pepsi products, and it's all free. There will be prize drawings, fun and games, and lots of laughs. And uh, they're going to have a longest fish contest also. And the winner, they're going to pay back three places. The winner, first place, they're going to get $1,000. Yep. And all the sponsors right there, which you see up there, they were some good people. And if y'all want to send donations uh, to Daryl, Money Sign, Trophy Seekers, Cash App. There you go. And... Uh, 420, April 20th at 9 a.m. Eastern uh, over on Rustic Outdoors Channel. They're going to be putting on a king or queen skipjack tournament. Eight inches and up counts. Bring your own jigs. <clears throat> and also, later on that evening at 8.30 p.m., uh, over on Jeff Bill's channel, uh, Fishing with Jeff Bill, it's going to be a Not Your Average Fishing Rod Challenge. That's where you got to make your own rod, not using any conventional rod parts, but you can have conventional uh, reel, line, hook, sinkers, whatever you need. When you catch your fish on that DIY rod, you can then keep the fishing with a DIY rod or you can get one of your conventional rods and Lance McCuga is going to take the place of uh, Beyond the Hook Beyond the Hook will be fishing at a later date there you go <coughs> oh we, we actually made it earlier today than we did yesterday you might, be, you might find you a shortcut, man. That wasn't no shortcut. I was just driving a little fast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That was, that was definitely out of the way. Uh, Giga Dennis says, you keep being late, they're going to make you sweep the floor. No, dude. My boss is cooler and cool, man. Uh, I guarantee he clocked me in five minutes ago. That's why I generally don't worry about it too much. <coughs> All right, Hogback, what we got? One more day? One more day. Well, we'll, we'll make we'll, sure we all... Dan, I hope we get one of the biggest crowds we've ever had in here for the for the last day. But you'll yeah. be back soon. I know it. Everybody oh, yeah. knows it. Oh, heck, yeah. I'll be back soon. I'm just taking a break, man. I, Boy, I get it. I get it. it. This ain't going nowhere. Yeah, I got to figure out what we're going to do every morning now because, uh, I mean, driving to work is just going to suck. <laughs> no, nah, man, I'm sure, I'm sure somebody else will step up. Well, I hope so. I don't care anybody, somebody. But they better get out the way when you get ready to come back, brother, because there ain't nobody hey. like the hog. No, hey, no, man. No. I guarantee you. Anybody, anybody, anybody that's anybody is going to get out your way. Yeah, yeah. That's but uh, y'all have a great day. I'm going to get in here and uh, grab my tools, load them up on the truck, and get headed out. We'll see y'all tomorrow go. morning. God bless you. Bye. There you go. God bless you too, Daddy. Yeah, I, I believe uh, 
when you put money into a deal, uh, it's going to change a lot of people. So how would everyone calibrate their skill? You know, that's, that's for so much money at a prize. You know, I, I don't see, I, I don't see nothing wrong with just doing it the old fashioned way. Don't involve cash. Get sponsors to you know, sponsor rods and reels and line and tackle and do it that way instead of, man, I, you know, I don't, I don't. Come on to CFM's Queen. Welcome in. I mean, I, I, I know, I know people's going to hate me for saying that, but I, I don't believe money needs to be involved in these YouTube. Uh, tournaments, uh, just leave it rods and reels and cash and or not cash, uh, tackle and line and stuff like that for each tournament. I mean, I mean, if if they can give out ten thousand dollars, they could take that money and buy uh, rods and reels and tackle and give away it during. After each, uh, the winner, give it to the winner after each tournament. But, well, they ain't going to do that. But, who am I? I think what he's trying to say is that it's going to bring out some cheating somewhere along the line. That's right. Money makes people do that, especially big, big money. Even sure. Nah, I'm not saying it. anybody would, but thank you. We all, we all seen it in that walleye tournament. Yeah. And some others. Hell, even uh, on our lake, a local bass tournament, just for 500 bucks, people go out, catch bass, put them in a basket right before the end. They kind of spin go that way and they get behind them duck blinds and they pick them bass out of there. Yeah. Speak for yourself, hog leg. Ain't no problem with getting <laughs> money for the time you put in. Yeah, but see, Stan 3, you're already looking at it in the wrong way. You're expecting to get paid for your time fishing. Jody, I want the money. I already got the gear. <laughs> well. Price of gas keeps going up. <laughs> Thank you, Chris M. I just, I just don't think uh, if you want to fish for cash, go to the cash tournaments. Don't bring it on YouTube. Uh, since you're pitching my combo, I want to. Uh, all right. All right, it looks like a mad cat's rod and a ancient mariner reel. Good morning, Vanessa Kitty. Good morning, welcome in, Vanessa. Look at all that purple, 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 right? Purple, right? She's even got a purple blouse on. Thank you, Denise.
Gig Bear says, I found a cage with red speckle snook and gigging one night. I let the fish out of the cage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know how DC what it sounds like. It's the truth. I don't know. Uh, am I ever expecting pay for doing fishing on YouTube? No, it would be nice, of course, but not expecting it. Let it happen naturally. Yep. Oh, both are ancient mariners. Oh, the rod and the reel. <coughs> Jody says, I, I'm in it for the bragging rights, but fun. I'm in it. For the fun and bragging rights, but I ain't turning down 10 grand though. Yeah, you, you, ain't nobody turning down 10 grand, Jody. Shoot, no. And that's where the problem comes in. Yeah, the problem I see with is when it gets close to the end. Somebody's down about a half a pound. They're going to, man, 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 man. Uh, let me throw some weight in his mouth. Yeah, yeah. That's 10 grand to lose by half a pound. Thank you, uh, Dale. Oh, Dallas. Right, though. Thank you, Dallas. It will make them fish a lot harder, though. Yeah. Yeah, it will. Anyway. <laughs> I wish them all the best of luck. Quiet man, Curtis. Oh, wow, man. I hope I didn't. I did something wrong a while ago. I don't even remember who it was. Oh man. I may have time somebody else somebody out that I was trying to make a moderator. I don't even remember who it was. It was um uh, Lord Just no, Jim. Just Jeff, I think it was. Uh, Just Jeff, if I accidentally timed you out, I'm sorry. Hey, Fresno. All right, thank you, God. God bless the world, Lord Jesus. I just don't like people bad mouthing it for no reason. Oh, I gave you a reason, Stan 3. Morning, Dave. Oh, man, Judy. Wow. I like it better when the money goes to charity. Like, exactly. Exactly. Uh, fat boy. So, what is this vacation thing I'm hearing about? Good morning. Oh, I'm just going to... Uh, Stop doing the boar's nest for a little while. Uh, get myself re rejuvenated and uh, <clears throat> hopefully come up with some uh, something to talk about. I mean, I've been doing it for two and a half years, and get, get the get the wall straightened out and uh, whatnot. 
And I've been telling everybody that it ain't because you ain't showed up, Curtis. Uh, uh, yeah, it is, Curtis. He's making you a king throne chair to sit in. Uh. <laughs> he, he, he said he's going to have a call-out section. He's going to make you the, the chair for the call-out section. <laughs> you want to go, bro? It's a new segment on hog legs. Curses, you want to go, bro? You can give me one percent. Ah, no, no, if you had those. Welcome in, quiet man. Exactly. Uh, why is your name outlined darker than the others, Curse? Welcome in, Double Hook. I mean, I'm just, that's my opinion, and y'all all know how I. I have my opinions. I mean, and I'm not arguing with anybody and I'm not putting anybody down. It's just, I'm going to share with y'all my opinion. And if you can't handle it, oh, well, uh, that's just me. You get with me, you get me, you get what you see and what you hear. Uh, I'm not two facing anybody. Uh, if I have something bad to say about it, and I can't, uh, don't want to tell them in front of their face. I'm not going to say nothing bad about them. That's just it. What's up? What's up, man? <laughs> well, yeah, this, this vacation thing's working out pretty good. Uh, yeah, really? For you? <laughs> you got you to gotta, you try it. It's less stressful, buddy. Uh, yeah, really. Uh, Jody, you want to go, girl? You caught a few big fish. Now you think you're bad? You want to go, girl? <laughs> Curtis can start do some lies while you're gone. He, he can says live oh, with Curtis. You want to go, uh, bro? No, no, Rustic. Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Morning, J Dog. Go, oh, my dog is in here. If I see him, my dog, my dog, my, me and my dog. Yeah, uh, Northern View out there, I don't know how everybody's faring after those uh, last round of storms. Okay, you thanks for coming in, 205 Wild Action. You can't time me out, Jody. I am the Thunder God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hey, stand three. I saw you in here. You want to go too, bro? Jerry Parker, you, you got my number. Anytime, bro. I'll take you both on at the same time. There you go, J Do. Yeah, hey, y'all more than welcome. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear about your your puppy dog. There, Hoggy, Melissa. Curtis sounds different this morning. Yeah, he's recharging. I was gonna wait until tomorrow, but y'all made me come up now. <laughs> uh. Oh 
man. Uh-uh. You don't want to be somebody else's co-host, man. Who, me? No. No, 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 no. Have you seen me around at all this weekend? Or since uh-huh. I've been gone? No. Yeah. G- Gigability, good morning. I've been I've been doing me recharging here. Yeah, I've been to a couple hockey games. I went fishing. Yeah. Um, spending time with family. Hunting Reese's uh, Reese's peanut butter eggs. For good Easter. morning, Jeff Bill. Jody, I'm I'm gonna punch you right in the eye, girl. <laughs> I seen I seen your message. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna punch you, girl. <laughs> You just don't be wearing those thunder pants. Ah, who you telling that, Jim? <laughs> but you don't like my thunder, thunder pants? pants. I wear them to I wear them to Golden Corral. <laughs> it comes home with pockets full of taco fountain juice. <laughs> Whoa! See, that's oh. what I'm talking about, Stan. Three. You put money in a situation, and it won't be fun. Hey, hog like. Hey, yes, sir. Like, yes, I sir. Whoop, I would whoop Stan's butt for free. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think you're going to whoop Stan three's butt, man. <laughs> He's a good fisherman now. Uh, you know, you, you talk smack, but you, uh, <clears throat> you you jumping on. Let me see who. There. J Dog is a good fisherman. Stan three is a good fisherman. Jerry Parker is a good fisherman. Uh, John ain't got nothing. John Parker's a bad fisherman. <laughs> <laughs> about like hog leg earlier this morning trying to throw me under the boat <laughs> for Parker and Stan. I'm like, oh, heck no. <laughs> uh, he thought you were me up there probably. <laughs> I'm not up there saying you want to go, bro. <laughs> yeah. He's too busy. He's used, used to me saying that all the time. J-Dog said he ain't no good fisherman. I second that, J-Dog. Yeah, you're a good fisherman. <laughs> uh, I could bull crap put Stan three on the Ohio River, and he's just another fisherman. <laughs> Marillo, there's my buddy. Uh, he said, "Where are we going again?" I, I'm trying to give up M and M's, guys. Knock it off. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. But Jerry Parker don't want none. Jerry Parker don't want none of me, Aunt Chrissy. Yeah, he's, that's what I'm talking about, Chrissy. He's scared. He's scared of me. There you go, geek. I paid. For, <laughs> there's a big difference in a commercial fisherman and a fisherman for fun. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's what you. Hey, I commercial you. fish for for them skipjack now, and uh, but I have fun doing that. <laughs> yeah, Jerry Parker is a bad mofo. <laughs> yeah. I don't care anybody you says up there where he lives. Dog. That's a good big cat fishery up there. You are too, J Doe. No. Curtis just bumped his head. <laughs> I've done something. <laughs> <laughs> One week hanging out with J Dog, and I'm the baddest mofo <laughs> on the planet. I'll tell you somebody Not- else that's a good fisherman. Gigability. Man, have y'all seen Gigability? He pulled oh, yeah. it left and right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, All man. right. Well, I'm going to go in here and get this show on the road. I'll, I'll uh, leave you running there. All, All right. right. All right. <laughs> That's right. You got to take baby sticks. Hey, uh, Chris. Sam. Good morning, buddy. Yeah, I know you fish a lot behind the scenes, uh, Hey, no. Hey, he, yeah, he fishes on the couch. Uh, no, I'm the one that fish, I'm the one that fishes on the couch, man. <laughs> no, you fish in your uh, computer chair. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. The, uh, yeah, I'm going to show this one more time. Hang on. I didn't get to see it. I seen it on Troy's when I rewatched Troy's, but I didn't see it. Uh, 
I seen that pontoon, Jody. You wanna you wanna fight? Look at that! Look at that! We Brooks three. Trout. What yep. the? And no, I, you're the... I know. I don't. I ain't never fish for Brooks Trout in my life. <laughs> Come on! I thought but they was gonna be catfishing. <laughs> Look at that! Hey, and I wasn't in this but three weeks, man. Can you believe that? I even... oh, that... yeah, yeah. That that's got to get Troy right there. <laughs> that joker. And look at here. I caught the big fish in week three, too. That's a big what? root trout. Eight, eight point five four. That's almost a record. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> but you know, that's Bat, not, Bat, not Bat, Bat, imagine catching that. Imagine catching that Joker in real life. I bet he, yeah, he put really. up a good fight. I bet that thing would put fish on the couch, but at least I'm here every day. Ha! Ah! You you a funny guy there, dog. You a funny I'm guy. Surprised no one has said how bad I am yet. Well, uh, we don't know nothing about you there, none, none of you. Or I don't, anyway. I don't even know who you are. I just know you, you from uh, being in here last couple weeks. I, look, I can't even talk about nobody, how bad they are, because I, you know, <laughs> who would I be to be to talking about somebody that can't fish? True that. Uh, I just catch little dinks. Look at that. KY State Skip Jack record. Woo. <laughs> Eric, I, I bet I bet if Hog Lake did catch that trout in real life, he'd eat that joker. You dug him right. <laughs> I'd probably eat that skip jack right there. That's how bad I want for some, some fish. Look at that. That's Kentucky state record, Skipjack. Yeah, I, I caught that and let Tara hold it. And uh, he's, taking, he's taking all kinds of pictures with it. It's cool. You know, we're buddies. <laughs> we're, we're buddies, so I don't I don't mind him, them all holding my fish and stuff. Yeah, that is a hog. 3.22 pounds, did I see. No one's in my fish hog. You just don't go enough. That's right, you better say I don't go enough. I can fish. Hey, double, I go. hey, double hook. Hey, J. No. <laughs> I'm a <Marillo. laughs> Hey, hog like. <laughs> yes, sir. I challenged J. Dog this weekend. I said, Dog, you want to go this weekend? And he said, No. He said, I'm scared of you. I'm going to the movies to watch Ghostbusters. Maybe I can learn something. Oh, man. Goodness gracious. I was like, all right. All right, dog. You know it's out there anytime oh, you want man. it. Goodness gracious. Oh, man. <laughs> really ain't even a part-timer. I go away for a couple days, and then everybody's got to start a rumor. You guys got nothing better with your lives? <laughs> you know, uh, so where are we going? We're going to we're going to Dairy Queen, Marillo. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sounds like that's fixing to change. But, yes, sir. I hope it does anyway. I hope we all I hope we all go out fishing more. Yeah. Everybody needs to start. Everybody needs to start enjoying life and stop taking everything so serious. Well, see, uh, that's why that's that's where uh, <laughs> the boar's nest up. originated. The boar's nest originated because I wanted to fish in in Aaron's tournament, and I was making mm -hmm. some bank rod holders, and I cut my foot, and I wanted to be in, involved in this community, so you know. I couldn't fish because my cut, my foot was cut so bad. 
That's uh, right. So I, there, there you go. The boar's nest was born. You, you see what Michael Morell said? I told Hoggy to fire you, but he is too nice, or he thinks you will sue. <laughs> I'm not uh, Dave. One of the other <laughs> both. <laughs> yeah, you, you, yeah, Kurt, you won't believe how many people <laughs> Curtis was blaming you. <laughs> I kept telling them, no, it ain't because of Curtis. <laughs> well, like I told you before, Hoggy, you know, back when me, you, it was just me, you, and Kenny. Dude, you got to do you. You you can't worry about what other people think. I mean, our our, our health ain't all that great. We got to you know re kick our kickstart ourselves every once in a while. That's right. I, was, I would say kick Curtis out and start the hog and dog show. <laughs> you want to uh, go, bro? You want to go? J Dog? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Shirley, for always being on that PB, uh, Judy. Miss Shirley, thanks for always being here and supporting the Boar's Nest. Oh, yes. Thank you, Shirley. And don't forget, the Boar's Nest ain't closing the doors forever. I will be back. You got to keep reminding them because if not, they'll start a rumor. Oh, he's quitting. Yeah. <laughs> I've taken a break, folks. Don't everybody need one? Blame it on 712. Oh, man, that dude ain't been around forever. Blame him. We Are you kidding me? They were blaming me? Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> no sick time and all that. Oh. oh, oh! Do you see what Jody just said, Hoggy? Oh, oh no! That no, no, no. Melissa had to cast. Oh, oh no! <laughs> uh, uh, no, no, ma'am, Jody. Yeah, that's funny, dog. I hope you're happy, Chris. You ruined everybody's right to work. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I I try to do my part, J Dog. <laughs> yeah, uh, CFM Queen. That's when y'all fished around that pond or whatever it was, and had them tents out there and all week. Ain't that when that was? Man, it's coming down some rain out there. I think it finally stopped up here. I tried to send it all to J-Dog, but he sent it back up here. Okay, yeah, yeah. Canada's got a trout tournament. You see how much it's going? How long it's going to last? Oh, it'll be up. Well, that part will be out of here. Just a few minutes. Good morning, Tasha. Good morning, Sandy Toes. What you doing, girl? Good morning, Tasha. And good morning, Sandy Toes. Oh, I got your, your stickers. I don't put it on my wall over there, Sunday through. I showed them everybody. Uh, thank you, thank you, short stickers. And did I send you uh, one of my stickers, Sunday toes? If I did, it, you know, uh, send me your address. And I, or no, I got your address, don't I? Oh yeah, we oh. do. <laughs> she she went messed up. She went done messed up. <laughs> What I do with that envelope, though? I'm going to. Uh, J Dog said, Hog, I'm going to the vets to get 
all my shots, get my nails clipped, and get groomed, and I will be ready for the hog and dog show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay, Sandy. She said, I got your stickers. Thank you for my stickers, uh, for your stickers. I showed them off two days in a row when I got them. Hey, Curtis Cunningham. Good morning. Yeah, I got Miss Sandy stickers, too. She, she done messed up. Uh oh, yeah, she, yes, yeah, she did. She, what did she hey, do? Leave her address on it. Don't uh, leave it on her. Oh, uh, I don't want to say everything that she said. She put a little oh. note in there for me. Oh. <laughs> She's like, he's so full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oops. Later, Melissa. Okay, it's 801. Happy Hope Day. Uh, Y'all be sure to tune in to, uh, oh, man. Retired Rick. Fanfish Nation at 8. Oops. Hump Day with Retired Rick at 9. Oh, that's messed up, Sandy. That's real messed and up. Skip Jack Sandy goes live fishing at 630. And don't forget, I think today, I think it's today, Real and Virtual Troy is going live at 2 p.m. Eastern Time doing a community forum, I think. I, but, I don't care. I don't care, Miss Sandy. I still love you. <laughs> I'll be sure to tune in. Damn, with the bo damn river boys. All right. Thank you, hey. uh, Don Johnson. Hey, DJ. Thanks. Yes, good morning. I'm going to. <laughs> Thank y'all. Hey, you got some boots? Thank y'all. Uh, you got anything to say, Rus oh, Rustic's in there? You got anything to say, Quiet Man Curtis? Yeah, uh, good show as always, there, Hoggy. Uh, you you do what you uh. And everybody else, you know, keep your trap shut. <laughs> <laughs> and remember, everybody, I'm still a better fisherman than you. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. You talk a lot of smack. You must be worried of your j oh, yeah. yeah. I'm a bad mofo. What can I say? Okay. <laughs> All right. Like I always say, tell the good Lord above thanks for another day because he don't owe you jack. And like Melissa said, tell somebody you love them today because it'll help you out and it'll most definitely help them out. And like that OKP used to always say, deuces, y'all. God bless. I love y'all.